Hey guys, so you've probably clicked on this video because you've got issues with your H100 IV2 fan speed, you've got zero RPM showing in the Corsair Link, or your AI suite won't take over from the Link, or this doesn't work at all, or this doesn't work at all, and I'll show you my fix. Um, what, well, I'll show you my fix and uh, the steps I went through to get it working. So there's going to be three steps. You've got your motherboard, then your motherboard software, and then the Corsair Link. They all talk to each other. They all don't get along with each other, so you've got to set the settings where one does all. So first thing you want to do is uh, turn your PC on and keep pressing delete uh, on your keyboard until your BIOS comes up. And if you've got an ASUS board, it will look something like this. And what we need to do in the motherboard software uh, in your BIOS is set the CPU fan speed to 100%. Now I plug my cooler into the CPU header of my motherboard, even though it does have an AIO pump header, I plugged it into the CPU fan header. So you need to set it to 100%, so you go to Q fan control, and click in your CPU fan and click full power, so it goes to 100% and click save. When you press, when you go back to easy mode again, it should look something like this. Then what you need to do is go to advanced mode, go to monitor, go all the way down to the bottom to QFAN control configuration, and in there you need to disable QFAN control on your CPU, even though you've just set it to 100%. Don't know why, but that's what you need to do. Once you've done that, save and exit, reboot your PC. That's the BIOS stuff. So now you've got your PC up and running, you're going to need to go to your AI suite, which should be the motherboard software. Um, with ASUS. Now AI Suite has stopped working recently after the Windows update for security issues but they have patched it. What you need to do is go to this website which I will link in the description. Click on this this link, not the top one. Click on this link, download and save to your file. Once you've done that you'll have this in a folder. Try and put it in its own folder and then it's done. Extract it to the folder that it's in and you want to go ASUS setup Not that one ASUS setup click on that Make sure all these are checked and install it doesn't matter if you you don't have to uninstall the previous version Just install this one and it will overwrite everything Once this is installed you will need to do a system reboot So once you've rebooted the system you will then see that you've got your ASUS control panel back but if you open your Corsair link, these that's probably showing zero, this might even be showing zero, and your package will be up and down. So what you need to do next is go into this one. Whatever you do, do not use these. Don't use these. Click on your settings, go to this, and it opens up AI Suite. Let's move that out of the way. Next, go to your fan expert, click on this. Don't use these buttons. Do not use these buttons. On your CPU fan, because obviously you plug your cooler into the CPU fan header, click on this icon, change it to RPM fixed mode, and put it all the way up to the top, full speed. Once you do this, you will then see that this software starts to work. But your fans should stay relatively quiet, because now this is going to take control. Once you put this up to full speed, you can click back, exit out of that, don't touch it, leave it alone. So now in your Corsair link, these should be working. And the way you test it is uh, you can change your pump speed, just go from quiet to performance and you'll actually hear the pump rev up and that way you know that this software has control of your cooler. Also if you click on your fan speed, you can change uh, from default quiet mode performance and the fans will go up and down accordingly. Obviously it's quite cold in this room at the minute so my CPU temp isn't too bad. Also you want to configure your fans to be in the group of the default group of 100 IV2 because your fans aren't cooling the CPU they're cooling the coolant in the cooler. So if your CPU gets hotter the pump gets revved up until it can't cope with the temperature, then your fan kicks in to cool the coolant down. That's how it works. If you change this and put it on CPU package, your fans will be revving up and down all the time it's going to do your editing. 
Anyway, that's my fix. That's how I got everything to work and talk to each other. I hope this really, really helped. Um, it took me ages to find this out. That's why I wanted to make a video on it because I see loads of people have got this problem. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Thanks for watching.